Hey guys, it's Sprout here, and welcome back to another Badlanders video. Now, before I go into the video details, I just want to thank everybody who has recently subscribed to get us past the 900 mark. It means a lot to us, so thanks so much for all that support. And another quick update, I have made a Discord server. It's very basic, I'm not very good with Discord, if I'm quite honest with you. But it is in the video description, you can feel free to join that. There's chats where you can find groups, you can also talk to me if you really want to. And you can obviously find links to all my latest videos on there and what I plan to stream on a Sunday evening. Now, to get into the video, the subject of this video is kits and the gun bench. So I'm going to explain it all to you. As best I can so that if you are a new player and you're a bit confused by the gun bench and how kits work hopefully after you've watched this video you'll understand it a hell of a lot more because I was very confused when I first started out so first of all we'll go to kits I don't think I've actually got any in my inventory so what I'll do is I'll go quickly on auction house and I'll buy a very cheap gun so I'll go for the ER actually no ER's quite got all the slots unlocked already I'll go for a uh, I don't know why it's doing this to us. Uh, weapon, we'll go for a Deluge new no, SMG5, I think. Right, SMG5, so purchase that, and that's 3,888, but we'll buy that anyway. So we'll go ahead and go to the gun bench. So the gun bench, I think, off the top of my head, you unlock it at level 7. No, it's not. Hmm. You might actually unlock, you might, it might actually already be unlocked from the get-go. I'm pretty sure you had to unlock it back in the day, but never mind. That might have been during closed beta testing, so anyway. Once you get the get the gun bench, what you can do is you go to gun selection. So let's just select the gun I've just literally bought. So just find that, the SMG5. So we've got the gun right here. Here it is, with no attachments on it whatsoever. Now, first of all, you want to put some ammo in it. So you can select which type of ammo you want to put in it. Be it level 1, I haven't got any. I've got level 2 in the inventory, I've got level 3, I've got level 4, and I've got some level 5, but they're in my pistols, so you can pick which level ammo you want in. So I'm going to put level 2 in, so as you can see, that's now in, it should be a full, it actually raises the CE of the weapon when you put it in. Four grip I can't do for that just yet, I'll go for stock, you can only use accurate now now i think about the gun bench if you haven't got things in the inventory what you can do is you can go straight to the gun the sorry the auction house and find one you want now i'm not going to buy one because obviously i'm wasting my money there but if i had an accurate stock to put on magazine you've got the drum mag are the only ones that this uh, one will take obviously mine are used you can also purchase one which again would be quite a lot of money now these muzzle and sight slots are all locked so what you can do is with the kits if you've got a kit, you can find them in levels. You can also buy one. So if you want to get a kit, the full mount is quite expensive, but the full mount will literally unlock everything on the gun. So that's what the kits do. As you can see, you get muzzle grip, sight muzzle, sight grip, etc. These will unlock it. So if I go ahead and get a muzzle grip, they should be quite cheap. Okay, they're not. I'm not going to buy one. But that would unlock the sight slot and the muzzle slot to then put a red dot two times and whatever muzzle the SMG5 gets on it. So you can do that with pretty much any gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done with these P11, uh, P18s. If I go to fit and you see, I've got a drum mag on. I've got a legendary drum mag on this one, in fact. I've got the level 5 ammo. I've got a suppressor. And I've got the red dot, which takes the CE rating of this pistol up to 4,878. So that is how you can edit your guns. You can also do it in the inventory as well. So if I put the SMG5 on there, you can also... If I just quickly drag that ammo off. You can also drag the attachments from your inventory, if you've got them, onto the weapons. For instance, I can drag this ammo over, and that will automatically put the ammo on the gun. And obviously... With any sights or magazine stocks you can also put the kits on but if you want to do it and find the things specifically you want because you can't obviously access the auction house from your warehouse you want to go ahead and use the gun bench so obviously kits are all over the shop i'll quickly show you the kits so attachment 
adapter, you've got kit, all these different ones. You've got regular sight, grip, muzzle, muzzle grip, sight, muzzle, sight and grip, full mount. These are all for the different sort of weapons and stuff. You'll find that they'll generally only go on certain guns because a lot of guns have already got here the muzzle or the grip or the sight unlocked. So it's pointless putting the kit that actually unlocks what it's already got on, on it, if you know what I mean. So anyway guys, I hope this video has explained the gun bench in quite a bit detail for you. I hope you now understand how kits work and I will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like and do make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already to be up to date with new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.